Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Ellery here. I'm about to go run some errands and give you guys my room tour. You guys have probably, if not, go check out my empty house tour where my room was completely empty. I finally got into a place where I'm comfortable at. It's definitely going to change. So I just thought I'd give you guys a, a tour now and then maybe next year it'll be an update. I'm actually just about to go get an end table and then I'm just wiping my hands and she gonna be alright. Don't nobody be up here anyway. Anyways, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at Ellery. And definitely make sure you're subscribed because I, if you are into like the house updates, I'm finally, finally, finally finishing some of the bigger projects that have been taking me so long to work with outside my house. I literally started outside of my house before completing the inside of my house. So... I'm a little backwards in a lot of things in life, but uh, after the bedroom tour, the pool tour, and the empty basement tour, and all that should be coming, so make sure you guys subscribe so you guys get those notifications. And, um, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so I debated on whether or not I was even going to do a room tour because there are some things that I still want to change. But I feel like it's gonna stay like this for a while because I just have other areas of the house I'd rather focus on and don't nobody be up in here but me. So I just want to show you guys how it is now and basically understand like my style before I get into it. I am super sim simplistic. I'm not an interior decorator. I actually hate shopping and hate buying stuff for my house. I usually call my mom, my sister, my best friend for help with that because I just like simple stuff. Like I don't want something for every space in the room. I like to just be open and just have some little pops of color and pieces. So that's pretty much my vibe. I don't like a lot of pattern, which is why some of the stuff in here scares me a little bit, but it's definitely an improvement from how all my other places have been because I've never really decorated at all. Maybe like some pictures and a light or something, but this is actually like me growing up. I actually decorated my room and the colors are gold, silver, or gray and royal blue. I wanted it to be unisex just in case when my husband does finally decide to come in my life. Um, it wasn't like a full pink or purple room. So this is my bed. This is like one of the main new things in my room because pretty much everything on the bed is like from my old bed. Um, but I got this bed from, I don't remember, but I'll put it in the caption because I thought I was gonna remember. It's called T something, I think. Anyways, uh, super simple. I just like it straight to the point. Just give me a solid navy blue bed. Uh, these pillows came from my couch, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, they're not new, even though I really do want to swap out all these pillows for like really nice new pillows because they all came from my old bed. These are from Z Gallery, and these I think I got at like uh, TJ Maxx or something. And this is my favorite pillow ever. I got from Pure. Shout out to Pure. They gave me this for Mother's Day, and I love, 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 love this pillow so much this comforter is also from target but i really just wanted a linen blanket that didn't have tweeting in it or anything but i washed it and the wrinkles just never came out so i don't think i would recommend it but it still does the job as far as the vibe i was going for i also got these little nightstands they were in my old place too i never really liked those but they ended up just working for my room they used to be by my tv and uh these blankets are from target this tray, I think it's from Z Gallery. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what the room's going for. I did have like some, you'll see like there's nails right here. I had some mirrors on the sides and I just never really, we never really, just never, I just kept doing that every time I came to the room. Like, don't really know if I like those. So I took those down and just got these simple gold mirrors up top. I'm not sure the exact store. Cause when I want something, I just put like, gold mirror click i don't even know where i'm ordering from sometimes i just pretty much shop for exactly what i'm looking for this rug is one of those rugs where everyone says they like but i've never really like gotten too much into it i really wanted just a solid navy rug or a solid gray rug like i didn't want any pattern on it but everybody says that they like it so i'm just gonna give it some more time um i think i got this from wayfair it's called like the monroe rug or something Super big, it does its purpose. I wanted something where I could have my feet on it before I get in the bed and it still like, you know, goes off into the carpet a little bit. I love that my bedroom is carpet. I know a lot of people are like into the wood these days, but I just like to be comfortable in my room. When I'm downstairs, I always have to have something on my feet, house shoes, socks, but in my room, I just, you know, put my dogs on the grass and it just feels comfortable. I like to feel comfortable in my room. 
This is like the third mirror. They sent this mirror three times, right? First time I sent it, it was completely broke. This is why I stayed like in my high rise. I don't know if you guys have been following me long enough to remember that. But um, when I had the long, long windows, this was in the corner. And the first time they sent it was broke. The second time they sent it was actually this one. It's broken on the side, you just can't see it right now. So I kept it, but I told them that it was broke, because it is. And then the third one they sent, it was perfect. Like nothing was broken. I was like, yes, finally, my mirror. And Zara and her sister ran into it and completely shattered it. So luckily I didn't give it to this one because it works well in this little corner. It's not as tall as I want it to be, but then you just pan over here. We have the bay windows, a lot of light in here, which I love. From my room, I get a nice view of the backyard, but I got really lucky on having my home exactly where it is because the sun rises and sets in my backyard. So I get a nice view outside and from inside the house of the sun setting, even though it's not showing really well on camera. Um, these chairs are new. I just looked up navy gold chairs. Like I said, I will leave the info in the caption because I'm gonna have to look all this stuff up. And I also had this bar cart in my old place too. I wanna say this is from Z Gallery too, but I really don't think so because I don't shop at Z Gallery too often because you know sometimes they are she lying. I don't, even though these are from Z Gallery as well. <laughs> I just wanted a bar cart in my room. I know this isn't, I actually was supposed to put, it's missing a glass down there because I usually drink out of one of these glasses. These are from Tiffany. They're also from Pure Cosmetics. They just be hooking your girl up. It was a set of two, but like I said, I drink in one of them a lot, so it's in the dishwasher probably. I got these from Mexico. You see Angel, Chloe. They were selling these little bottles. This is me and Chloe when we won first place and second place in the musical chairs challenge. Couples and look at the babies. Um, and usually I have down here Hennessy and Duce and uh, what's the other tequila that I like? De Leon. But um, I drank them and I'm trying to fast this month so I didn't want to replenish even for this video because I would be tempted and invite people over and drink the stash. So that's usually what it looks like. Uh, and it's basically just when I'm in my room chilling and I want to have a drink and I don't want to share with nobody, you know what I'm saying? This thing right here. I'm calling it a thing because it's been a nightmare since I got it. It was actually kind of expensive. I got it from Amazon and it looked completely different online than it is when I bought it. It was packaged horribly. There were scratches all over it because the staples were sticking out the wood. Um, it's That's what it sounds like. It's not like glass. It's like, I don't even know what the material is called, but it had like double-sided tape on how you hang it. So, in the middle of the night, at like three o'clock in the morning, it literally fell off my wall and scared the shit out of me. You can actually see a bit right here where it fell in the middle of the night, but <laughs> I don't think she's gonna be a keeper. I might swap this out with something else eventually, so. I had to like get some Gorilla Glue and fix it because I couldn't return it, it's too fucking heavy. But it was like two to three hundred dollars. It was a waste of money and they do have, my review is on there, it's under my sister's name. But if you look at, if you find this on Amazon, I'm that review that's on there. Cussing them out. <laughs> then over here, uh, this is like one of my favorite pieces in the room. It was exactly what I was looking for. I wanted something mirrored with gold accents on it to like flow with the rest of the room. I really, 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 really like this piece. And uh, these are just three picture frames. I actually stole these two frames from Yoshi because they matched my room better. And this is um, a frame from Z Gallery. Just has a picture of my dad, my fat fat, and Yoshi. Favorite people, sorry. Sorry, Ib. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. I'll put y'all in when you know I got more frames. And this was just a globe I got from Target. It was navy and I've always wanted a globe, so I was just like, oh, this might look nice in my nightstand. And this is just a mirrored book from Urban Decay. Nothing special, but I just wanted it to be on like a little deck, if you will. And finally, my favorite part of my whole room the place I spend the most time, even more time than in my bed, because believe it or not, I don't sleep in my bed. That's a whole another video to explain why I don't sleep in my room. I actually sleep in Yoshi's room. Um, but I actually spend the most time on this couch. This is my old couch I've had for like three years. Uh, you guys probably remember it. Uh, the pillows are actually, like I said, there's two on my bed and they were supposed to be this way, like with this print. But I just turned them this way so they're solid. And then two pillows, these are from Z Gallery. Z Gallery has like a whole navy section. That's why like a lot of my navy stuff is from Z Gallery because they have like a whole section of navy. And um, I thought this mirror was gonna be too small, but I, I like it now. I just think it was too small, but now I really like it. This is the little end table that I got from Home Goods. 
And these are from Target. Like I said, I'm no interior decorator. So I was like, oh, this looks like what an interior decorator would get, you know, for an end table. I'm not even sure if it looks right, but it's, you know, my little fake plant, my little, you know, I'm watering my plants because I'm an adult. And then over here, these picture frames were in my last room as well. I have like 12 of these things. <laughs> They're just quotes of uh, like different people. And uh, they were like $25 each so they were in my last room and I just decided to fill the space here with two of them even though I wanted something different I'll probably I might keep them because they're the only thing that's like black in my room and I have this big old black TV so it kind of just works I think hopefully then I got my little fireplace right here my little what's this called put feet on ottoman ottoman with my flowers that Venus Exterior got me for Mother's Day. You know, they last a year, so I got these last year. And I got this, I changed the light fixture up here. It's a little, little spike ball. I like it. So, yeah, this is my favorite little piece of my room. I've never had a sitting room before. My actual last living room was this size, so that's, that's pretty awesome. The only other thing, I mean, is my bathroom, which I don't feel like is that big of a deal to see. It's not really decorated, it just does its purpose. I only go in here to do my hair and use bathroom, so. It looks exactly how it did in the empty house tour. You got a shower, a bath that I don't use. I literally threw those up like the month after I moved in here. If my auntie Ross saw that, she probably would be mortified. She does like all the fancy towel work that I don't know how to do. So if she comes over, I'll have her help me with that situation. And then this was actually in my room, but I didn't like it, so I moved it to the bathroom. And um, the light fixtures, you guys seen those when I installed the lights, if you saw that video, where I showed you guys how to install lighting. My housekeeper actually folds the towels like that. I'm not sure why, but I just leave them like that because I don't really use them anyway. I usually just use the napkins. And I just pretty much have a chair right here that I sit on when I'm not putting lotion on when I'm out of the shower. And then there's just a bunch of perfumes up here. Not all of them, but I didn't want it to be super cluttered on the counter. And uh, I will show you guys my closet, but I have to get it custom made because the closet literally is the only thing in my whole house that I'm not gonna be able to fix cosmetically besides like paying someone to organize it because it's not as big as I thought it would be to have this big old room and like a smaller closet. So I'm gonna have to have somebody like, you know, give me some drawers, give me, some, give me a look in there. Um, Cause everything else in the house as you guys know, if you saw my empty house tour, I didn't customize this house. I bought it as is. It was like almost done when I bought it, so I couldn't change anything. All the things that I can change, I'm gonna change, but uh, the closet wasn't one of those things I could. So if I do, and when I do get it done, I may do a, um, show you guys how a before and after, but uh, just have to wait and see. Let me just show you the view from my room right quick since we're here. Oh no, we're not because the pool is a hot, hot mess. So the pool tour will be separate if you guys watch that. Oh yeah, this is a ceiling fan that's downstairs in the living room. It's the exact same. Hope you guys liked it. Think it's a little cute? Let me know in the comments if you guys see something where I'm like, girl, you should put that right there. Girl, you should put that right there. I may do it, I may not do it, but I do appreciate the commentary, you know, because this isn't my strong suit. But uh, yeah, if you guys liked my room tour and uh, stay tuned for more house updates. But until next time, love ya. Mwah. Girl, this... I told you how to hold it. No, <laughs> oh, it's not even that part. <laughs> it's so fucking... <laughs> <laughs> the camera is literally like four pounds. <laughs> Not even that heavy. <laughs> this arm right here <laughs> needs to be chopped off. You need to do some some uh, weight lifting. No, bitch. Okay, let me do a house tour. You both care, but please. I need to do it. Please let me do it. We can't find good help these days. <laughs>